hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or I'll be coming to pay you a visit. <laughs> When you're gonna do it, hey? We're not talking questions like what your usual people are asking, like Rob Tebbett or Coogan Cassis. We're talking real boxing questions. So when you're gonna come and do it, Eddie? You've got my email. I'm gonna send you my new phone number today. Give me a ring, Eddie. Don't you be a bottle job. Legendary fighter Crawford Ashley, uh, British Commonwealth European champion and three time world title challenger. Massive, massive puncher, gunslinger style. Yeah, but ice as you know, he gets iced himself. He's a proper nice gentleman. I like him. Interesting day, so I'll tell you what, I never get used to driving Ryan Leeds, I think it's awful. I don't know how Nick Manners copes because he can't drive, can you, Nick? <laughs> Nick Manners, Nick, there's drivers and there's screwdrivers. Which are you, Nick? <laughs> so, anyway, so let's hope it goes all right and. Uh, I'll do some footage on my own, so peace out. Well, I'm here at Bethlehem Boxing Club in Leeds to see Crawford Ashley. Uh, it's not a very nice day, but it looks like it's locked. So, but hopefully he'll be here in a minute. So, alright, Bethlehem Boxing Club. I wonder if Nick Manners comes here. <laughs> And here we are, we've got Crawford Ashley, bang on time. How are you doing Crawford? Well. Hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Pork here, and still the voice of hardcore boxing. I'm at the Bethlehem Boxing Club in Leeds, LS9, with legendary boxer Crawford Ashley, British Commonwealth European champion, two time world title challenger. Three, sorry. Yeah. Were they all on Don King shows? No. Two of them were. Two more. Michael Nunn. 
Virgil, Vir and Sebastian Rothman. Sebastian Rothman, he was a massive puncher, wasn't he? Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> and I'm joined by Crawford's son, Theo, age 18, 6 foot 4, 200 pounds. How are you doing? I'm alright. You alright? You're looking at uh, entering a championship, novice championships at Hamilton, aren't you? And having your first fight. You're yeah, looking yeah. forward to it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Uh, what made you want to get into boxing, Theo? Uh, I don't really know. I've done a lot of sports. Yeah. I just like the boxing. Yeah, you like it? Yeah. Have you been it yet? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I had sparring last week. What did you do? Uh, some from this gym, Quad Joe. Yeah. Yeah. I've got it again tomorrow. You like it? Yeah, it's good. What would you be doing if you weren't boxing, Theo? Uni. Uni? Yeah. So you're still doing your studies as well then, yeah? What you like doing? Obviously you keep fit and it keeps you out of mischief, yeah? Yeah. And what does your dad Crawford think to you? Do a taking boxing up? Are you alright with that Crawford? Me, yeah, I've been waiting for somebody to come who yeah. actually wants to learn to box. Mm. And my job is to make sure he's safe in the ring, so I'm teaching him the boxing from the basics yeah. down. I've got a channel so you can follow him on, it's called The Spiritual Boxer. And we do things that I used to do when I was seven. We weren't allowed to spar, but we were allowed to do what I call toe tapping. So you look into each other's eyes mm. as you do when you're dancing. Yeah. And then you got to try and tap the toe with your front foot, get their front foot. Yeah. And it's good, it's movement. The basic stuff, yeah? The basic stuff. Learn how to ride a punch, learn how yeah. to not get hit, and then we'll work on the counters. Mm. He's been training for, this is his third week. You, you have a, a method about throwing the punch and punching through it, don't you? You think that not many do that nowadays, don't you? No, most people punch at the target, they don't mm. punch through the target. Mm. And for me, the lost art of boxing is the, the flow. It's when you get into the flow where all the punches just flow seamlessly together. Yeah. And when you're watching any of the top boxers, they seem to be in that flow, they seem to get into it. Mm. And when, I can't explain it, it's just, mm. like, I think it's magical, mystical, mm. Mm. and I just, once you get to that fitness level, which you need to get to be in there, mm. and I think he likes the danger as well, and plus he's slightly mad, which we all have to be to get in the ring in the first yeah. place. Do you think that if, when you, once you're fit, everything else is just about technique and working on that? Yeah. Is that the most important thing then, fitness? No, because no, you can be really fit and not focused. Yeah. So to me, you have to be focused on what you're doing. Yeah. And that's when you try and get the kids to focus on shadow boxing. Mm. They're all over the place, they're thinking about what they're having for tea. But when you're in that moment yeah. and you're focusing, it's hard work. Mm. Concentration is hard work. Mm. For me, I never liked being in the gym. Yeah. I always found it hard. But as soon as I went into a ring, different. I mm. see my switch off and just go into the floor mm. and just get through it. So you hated the training but loved the fighting? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I hated the training and yeah. the fighting. Yeah. It's, um, I was talking to a kid last week I was training and he says, um, I want to spar with people better than me. Mm. He says, oh, I said, I used to spar when we were British champions, I used to spar with amateurs. And he went, why? And I said, because I work on the weaknesses. Yeah. The defence is weak. I'll go in the ring with amateurs. Mm. I'm not hitting them, but I'm working on my defence. Yeah. And putting them where I want them to be with just my feet. Mm. And having the f and a lot of fighters don't do that. It seems to me when I watch sparring, and I've had a lot of it, mm. they want to bully you. They want to be the top dog. Yeah. And I just always thought sparring was easy. Not easy, but you're in there to learn, you're in there to work on the weaknesses. If you get caught, it's not with a big shot. Mm. And you see some of them, it's like I sparred with Chris Eubanks, he lasted a week and we sparred with him after the week. I sparred with Gilbert Eastman and Howard Eastman. Howard sparred with me once for four rounds, Gilbert sparred with me for hundreds of rounds. Mm. Because they couldn't bully me. Mm. And when they can't bully you, they don't want to spar with you. Is that why Chris Eubank didn't want to spar with you? <laughs> Again? <laughs> yeah, Chris Eubanks. And that's why when he went from super middleweight to cruiserweight, he missed me out completely. Mm. Yeah. Because he knew, you know what I mean? I'm not one of these chatters, but if he was down at the sparring sessions we had, you knew. You know what I mean? He can hold his own with me. 
and I've been out of the room for three months. Yeah. So, uh, I don't like blowing my own drunk up. <laughs> <laughs> to me, it was always about learning, learning yeah. to become the best you can be. Yeah. Who were the best guy you sparred all together then, skill wise, Crawford? That's the hard man, because some of them, Victor Cordova, when yeah. he was relaxed, he was just on a different level. Mm. Uh, me brought my nose in sparring and then told me to move my head. And what? Then told me to move my head. <laughs> Did he? I told him, why didn't you tell me before you hit me? And I'd have been better. Mm. Um, I sparred Steve Collins, who was awkward. Um, yeah. Chris Eubanks was easy. Very really easy, Chris Eubanks. Yeah. yeah. Lennox was just big. Lennox Lewis, yeah. yeah. He was just big. I was over there to, for them to use my jab. Got to be slipping my jab in there. But he was. Mm. But no, I think um, probably Victor Cordova. Yeah. What are you doing with yourself nowadays, Crawford? Teaching me son to box. Teaching you son to box? Yeah. That's brilliant. I'm trying to get um, what I call the lost art of boxing to be brought back. Every yeah. time I go to any gym, you always want to know how to do a punch out. Yeah. And I would say, how do you miss a punch? Because I don't care how hard you punch, you're not going to whip me. Mm. It's about not getting hit. So yeah, do you think that needs to be taught to fighters nowadays not to get hit? Yeah, it's a dangerous game in there. Yeah. This is what people don't get. I always win in the attitude. If you get hit, one punch can kill you. Yeah. My job is to keep you safe. People don't even ride shots anymore. No. Yeah. You know what I mean, and then the trainers go back to the corner. Oh, come on, let's see your heart. No, take a back step, fly on the back foot. Mm. It's like I was always going back, but if you go back step for a combination, move around. Mm. It's like when AJ was boxing Ruiz, that's the only thing I felt he didn't do, is when he's got the space, stop for a combination, then move, not always be on the back foot with him, mm. throw some off it. Yeah. Mm. What do you think to Dave Allen's style? I think he gets it too much. Know. Yeah, a lot of them do get it too much. There was there's a few who've got some really nice techniques, Tyrone Nurse from one of them. He's got a beautiful style, he makes him miss great. He never counter punches. Mm. He just pauses. It's all that fancy shit and then doesn't do anything. Mm. You got a counter punch, come back with something. Mm. So you're gonna soak it all up then, Theo, are you? Yeah. yeah. Mm. And you're looking forward to it, your, your journey. Yeah. What, uh, if, if you do go pro, are you probably looking at pro in a few years, do you think? Uh, whenever. Whenever I'm ready. Whenever you're ready, you're not in a rush, are you at 18? No. Plenty of time, aren't you, on your hands? Yeah. Plenty of time. Mm, interesting, interesting, all right. I then. prefer him to have novice championships and then go pro, because it's a different game. It's yeah. It's a totally different game. Well, thanks for having me come here today, Crawford. Mm. Uh, maybe, maybe very welcome. Uh, have you got any social media handles? What? Yeah, I've got um, the Spiritual Boxer on YouTube. The Spiritual Boxer on YouTube. Yeah. yeah. Everybody get following him on YouTube. Which and is doing um, the, the clips with the uh, starting him off. And yeah. Basically, if you want to start boxing, you never boxed before. Yeah. It's a good way as an introduction to show you the stance, different things. Mm. And if you've boxed, you might get some good tips out of it. Yeah. That's like good. one of the best ones, when in doubt, stick your lead hand out. Yeah. It works in life as well. Does it? <laughs> <laughs> so if somebody's coming to strangle me, I'll just stick my lead on yeah, like it. Stick it out, Joe. Bang. <laughs> so uh, so that, uh, you don't do Twitter or Facebook or anything like that then, do you? I'm on Facebook. I don't do Twitter because of my thing. Yeah. At the moment, I have got my glasses. Yeah. So I've been looking cool in my sunglasses. Mm. As soon as they get back, I'll be putting more. Yeah. And your Facebook's gone just under Crawford Ashley. No, Gary Crawford. Gary Crawford. Yeah. I've got so many different names. <laughs> <laughs> so your Facebook's under Gary Crawford and, you, and the spiritual box on YouTube. It's YouTube, yeah. That's brilliant. Well, and listen. When I get a gym, thanks it's for having me. Called Boxing Buddhas. Boxing Buddhas, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's brilliant. Crawford, what do you think to these predictions? Uh, Billy Joe Saunders, Callum Smith. Callum Smith, I think. Why? Right. Is, why is that? Because I like. Callum, I like the way he boxes, I like the way his, his style is. Yeah. I think Billy Jones has got too much of that arrogance instead of having his feet on 
the floor and you know yeah. really putting the working in the gym. Mm. I think Callum will be putting the working in the gym and I think Billy Joe's gonna be more relying on his talent than the work that he's doing. Alright, so that's what you think Callum beats Billy Joe so yeah. is that on points? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Another prediction for you, Crawford. What do you think would be the outcome? Tyson Fury against Anthony Joshua. Well, I, me, I always fancy the three-way fight. I think Tyson wins the first fight, and I think AJ wins the second fight. Yeah. And the reason because of that is because I think AJ is going to pick up so much knowledge from Tyson in the first fight yeah. that I think he's going to improve and come back, and I think he'll nick the second fight. What about the third one? That's when it's up in the air because I think Tyson then is going to realise that AJ is a different kettle. I think the first fight, I think Tyson's got him because of the experience. Yeah. But I think AJ will take that experience and come on like Canelo did when he boxed Mayweather. Two different fighters, before Mayweather, after Mayweather. He got a different kind of confidence and he, different, and he learned. And I think that's what will happen with AJ. I think AJ is a learner and he'll learn in the ring. So I think the first one Fury's, second one AJ, third one toss a coin. Yeah. Mm. Brilliant, brilliant. Uh, what do you think about Eddie Hearn then Crawford? I, I right liked him until I watched him on YouTube the other day and he, he shot himself in the foot when he says the four o'clock fights are all mismatches. Yeah. If you know the mismatches, you're doing boxing a disservice. We don't want mismatches. Yeah. If the kid's crap, put him with another crap kid and then you get a good fight. Yeah. The kid who's winning ain't learning nothing. Yeah. And what are you doing? Filling a show up full of what? Rubbish. Let's yeah. put some good fights on. Your, it came out of your mouth yourself. You said the four o'clock thing in the garden. Mm. You're not going to get all the mismatches. Yeah. That's for TV. That's wrong. Yeah. That's all wrong. Right. All right, no problem. I'll, I'll pass you, it you on to Eddie. Wherever you want it. I'll <laughs> yeah. pass it on to Eddie. <laughs> <All> <laughs> right, mate. To me, that's just my, my feeling. I've never liked mismatches. Hate yeah. mismatches. Yeah. Because that's when kids get hurt. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? I love this sport. You know what I mean? Boxing to me is my passion. Yeah. It's what I love. Yeah. And when you can see what's going on and they just go, oh, no. Mm. And it's like, oh, well, we don't want to get him beat because he's a ticket seller. His mates would like to see him get beat. Mm. Because if there is true mates, they'll laugh at him. Yeah. Make him, you know, give him a kick up the ass to get back in the gym and work harder. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's oh. it. Oh. Fine. Well, Sorry, thank you very much for having me thank today, you. gentlemen. Bless you. Take care. Yeah. Thanks for having me here as well, Phil. Yes. You're getting top man. And I'll see you again, don't you worry. Yeah, see you. I just want to finish off on this. Uh, thank you to Crawford, Crawford Ashley, and his son Theo for having me over there yesterday in Leeds. The guy who runs the Bethlehem Boxing Club in Leeds. Really enjoyed it. Uh, I wish Crawford all the best. I managed to spend a bit of time with him afterwards. But what happens in Leeds stays in Leeds. But top bloke and I really enjoyed it yesterday there so I'm just going to go to office now and
put all this into different segments and mess about with inserts and stuff like that. There's a lot of work to do yet, so it should be out in a week. But I really enjoyed it and I wish Crawford all the best. British Commonwealth, European Champion and three-time world title challenger. Virgil Hill, Michael Nunn, Sebastian Rothman. Had a great career. Um, what I like about Crawford Ashley is he's genuine. He's not bothered about bringing books out and doing uh, meet and greets and and he's had his time on he and he's, a lot of them uh, can't let go can they a lot of them once they're done with it you know we know what we're about don't we people who just hang, out, hang around boxing don't they like a bad smell some people don't they but Crawford's not like that he just trains his son and he goes about his life and I respect that and you know, I like him, I consider him a pal. Uh, I get on alright with him actually, he's on the same wavelength as me. But big respect to the chilling. We're great to see you and uh, I'll see you again definitely mate. Alright, so peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing. Don't have nightmares. <laughs> you like that one, didn't you? Right, first of all, I just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing. It means a lot to me. Because uh, we're on this journey together, aren't we? So, anybody got any ideas for the channel, fire them over to me. PokyCorner at mail.com. Alright? Shout out to Innovation Alloys and South Yorkshire Packaging. Alright? Don't forget to subscribe, keep on trucking.